this is just deteriorating mm. to the point that it's just absurd. November 2nd of last year, you sent this text. You said, I have been sick with pneumonia, so we'll respond when I'm better. I do appreciate you expressing how you feel, even if we see things differently in some cases. Madison, I can live without you in my life, no doubt. I pretty much have for 14 years. I don't have anything else to say to you besides you're more than welcome to visit your last grandchild, to which you responded, I don't need an invitation to visit your home. I've just not wanted to in light of all that goes on many times when I'm there, fighting, disrespecting, yelling. I feel you can put your mind to getting things turned around and be all you're capable of being. Madison, kiss my, and then there was an image there. And uh, that was from Madison, yes. Right. Uh, Madison, you're a worthless, lying, devious piece of <laughs> It's all you've ever been and all you'll ever be. Don't text me. You're beneath me, stupid blank. And ha, 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 you don't have to worry. I won't kill you. You're already dead to me. Please go blank yourself. Nobody else is willing to do it for you. No more slut. And you've said things to her yes. that uh, are not constructive. No. You and, and your granddaughter are going back and forth. I mean, all of you, you were letting the child set the tone set the rhetoric. It's like we're out, all lost out in the forest and we huddle up and say, okay, who's the most confused, disoriented, lost person here? And this person raised their hand and said, okay, we'll follow you. <laughs> well, that, that's exactly what's going on here. Well, we got the most immature person in the group and we're gonna let her set the tone. 